Our next speaker is David Armstrong. And David is an acupuncturist who uses traditional Chinese medicine to help people heal through understanding the causes of their illness. He enjoys helping people to balance their emotions and to support the health of all of their organs. So here is David Armstrong to present Things That Come Out Sideways. My presentation begins with me as a young boy in Amarillo, Texas, who wanted to play and learn and have fun. I also wanted to be loved and supported in who I was. I was looking for guidance, someone to help me understand the answer to the questions of who am I? What am I here to do? These were my parents, the ones that formed my life, influenced me to be honest and trustworthy, and be generally what people would consider a good person. They operated out of a set of beliefs that said, get an education, get a job, you'll be fine. Don't ask any deeper level questions of who you are or what are you here to do. So in addition to getting an education, I decided to go beat my head against other people and play football, which was very popular in the culture I was growing up in and it helped me get acceptance and approval. It seemed like fun at the time, but it was kind of hard on me. As the years went by playing football and doing schoolwork, I made good grades, graduated from high school, got set up for college, which would put me in a position to get a job and continue working without asking any deeper level questions about myself or trying to find meaning in life. At the time of graduating high school, I was tired of playing football and working to make good grades and get everyone's approval. So what I wanted to do was, what most teenagers do, <laughs> rest, take it easy. Don't have so much structure. I wanted to lay out of school for a year, get a job, work, play after work, and be wild without being tied to so much responsibility. Express who I was at the time. So I asked my mom, would it be okay with you if I laid out of school for a year and waited to go to college, do some work, take it easy for a while? She said, that's fine with me. Talk to your father and see what he says about waiting to go to school. Notice the drink in the picture? She drank quite a bit. This picture is taken from the position my father was standing in when I told him my desire was to work for a year and then go to college. He believed that the sooner you go to college, the easier it is, and it was his way of completing with raising me, so his response was, over my dead body. <laughs> this is a picture of my father and me after I had chosen to conform to his desire for me to go to college as soon as I could after high school. Notice the drink in my hand, which is a representation of how I was coping with being controlled and staying in the box of the educational belief system which I chose to conform to. I played the game of life according to the rules so well, I got an award in football for being what they call the most spirited player, which is basically someone who helps everyone else be positive, play by the rules, and when the ref gets upset that, you didn't, that he didn't make the call you wanted, you settle down because I was there to help you settle down. As this picture portrays, I graduated from the University of Texas, which was the last conforming I needed to do to get my father's approval. And I set a goal to get a degree and get a job right out of college which I accomplished by going to work for a corporation, basically following in my father's footsteps. But I still felt empty inside. I had a wild man suppressed inside of me, so I drank to escape. And while my dad was dying of cancer, I let the wild man out irresponsibly by partying a lot, doing what I wanted to do when my father said, over his dead body. This is why I say whatever is repressed needs to be expressed or it comes out sideways. There are healthy and unhealthy ways of expression. Thankfully, there are people in our lives who will help us express in healthy ways. This is a really great friend who influenced me to express in healthy ways. I've known him since I was born. He's been there for me often and always has some wise words of support for me. Eventually, I realized I needed to ask myself the questions, who am I, why am I here, and work to find ways to answer them. This is me on a men's retreat outside of Boulder where I was letting the wild man out in healthy ways through feeling my feelings and expressing my emotions. 
After a lot of soul searching, psychotherapy, spiritual work, I discovered that going to massage school was one of my answers, and my first day of massage school was one of the happiest days of my life. Massage school created a way for me to help people and make a difference for humanity. Then I decided to expand my scope of practice beyond massage to be able to help more people in more ways and do more for developing myself. So I went to Chinese medicine school, learned acupuncture, Chinese herbs, so I could utilize these modalities as well as others to assist people with healing. There are <clears throat> many people in our lives who help us along the way, and these women in the next slide <laughs> are more of the people who help me become a person who helps humanity. They're my biological sisters. They're very supportive of me, even though we are different in our beliefs of what life is all about. They've shown me how you can love someone when they are so different than you. During my development of myself as a massage therapist and acupuncturist, I was looking for someone to be with. Through being in different relationships and all of the work on myself, I set the stage to connect with this beautiful person who has shown me more ways to move beyond the boxes that I live in. After getting to know each other for a while, we came to realize it would be great to be married. We got married in this beautiful place outside of Woodland Park called Aspen Valley Ranch. Some of you may have been there. It's a really nice place. <clears throat> this, was one of the no this was another one of the happiest days of my life to be married and create a new life for myself. Another part of this new life for myself included, included having a child, which is helping me see how I can help someone know who they are. I'm helping him create a life of who he is, expressing his wild self in healthy ways so things don't come out sideways because of suppression and negative control. And this is that baby a few years later doing healthy expression of who he is. This shows me the parenting I am doing is working since he's so happy. He's teaching me to play, let go of old parental controls that repress the wild parts of us that can be expressed in healthy ways when we know who we are and let our expression come out. Thank you.